Hello everyone. Today I'm going to try and make a fire engine with flashing lights. The other day when I was at my hobby shop, at the local hobby shop, I found a fire engine with flashing lights. It was HO scale. It was really, really amazing. So I did some research, found out they're made by um, East Coast Circuits. And uh, the price was okay, actually. I would have bought one except that they only make them in HO scale. So uh, I looked on their side, there's some N scale stuff, but no, uh, no fire engine, nothing that even is close to the HO scale stuff. So uh, I looked up some videos, I'm gonna try and make one. So I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's worth a try. So I can't say I'm an expert in electronics, but I watched a bunch of videos and all I'm doing is repeating uh, what I heard. So I went on eBay, I found these. This is the reference, 0603 flashing red. Well, 15 pieces, obviously. So this is what you get. Just a very, very tiny uh, LED with a connection. This has the resistor and the flashing unit all in one and then I have to connect it uh, to my power source. Let's just, uh, let me show you what it does. So I made a very crude circuit using an old uh, lifelike uh, power pack. I'm using the absolute lowest setting on the power pack and I wired them in uh, parallel. I, again, I'm not an electronics expert I know if you wire them in series, you will end up with, uh, when the circuit shuts off to shut off the light, it'll shut off the whole circuit. So I'm putting power to each, uh, each LED in uh, parallel. So now I'm going to make some holes in my fire truck to install them. This is an old micro machine, it's probably uh, 30 plus years old. You can use whichever fire engine you like. This, I just happen to have this uh, with me here today, so I'm working with that. Micro machines, they have a little plate of steel at the bottom. Let me work on getting that off. That last screw in the end, it, it just old, holds the turret. So this is a plate of steel or metal at the bottom just to give them a little bit of weight. So once you have this off, it gives you access to the wheels. Now I'm going to be uh, drilling from inside here because it's plastic to put uh, all my wiring inside. I used my very small drill to drill a pilot hole. Now this is still too small, but I'm gonna make it bigger. So I made four more holes on the top there and two holes on the side and four more holes on the rear. So now I've got it started. I just have to keep adding more and more uh, LEDs. I've only got four done, but already it's starting to shape up. The toughest is waiting for the glue. Uh, I'm using uh, crazy glue. The toughest part is waiting for the glue to dry so they can stay in place. It took me about three days to get to this point. So this is day four. I put all the lights I wanted to put and I've got it in the front and in the back and that's uh, very satisfying. Now I've got a big mess of wires though so I'll have to work on managing that. I got it almost sorted out now. So I've got two comments to make about this. First of all it's very satisfying. I got a feeling that that's a hobby all of its own to put lights uh, in your fire engines and police cars. 
I put them in your Hot Wheels, your 118 scale cars, it goes on and on and on. So probably that's a very satisfying hobby that people have. And the other remark is, if you put that on your uh, layout, it, you might find that visitors uh, are attracted to this so much they forget about the trains. At any rate, uh, this was a test for me, but I'm really satisfied with the way it came out. So I'm going to put this uh, engine on my layout now. So yes, it's very dangerous that this would take over and uh, attract the interest that should otherwise go to the trains. And now it's time to run some trains. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly had fun making it for you. See you soon.